If you're gonna talk about the things I need, then you're gonna have to find out what they are. You remind me of a time when I was boring. I recall a time when you could slip your noose. I wash my hands of you. I've uh, reviewed the SRI Cruise before and essentially the manual version is basically exactly the same as this one except for that nose of questionable taste. So I, I already know what I think of the package and that is that it's a, a very honest little sportster. It's not particularly efficient, you know, there's a lot of um, smaller capacity turbos around these days that are um, put under the bonnet of cars to increase the efficiency. So for example, they'll pull out a two liter and put a, a 1.4 turbo in there because they have around about the same sort of performance, but they still get the fuel efficiency benefit. This is not one of those turbos. This is a turbo that's put there to make this little car go fast. Now it's not an absolute ball terror. It is pretty fast. But the balance is what really makes this a sporty variant. The suspension is kind of firm, but it's probably how I would like it for my own little toy to play with. I'd be happy to have one of these as my daily commuter. Obviously I would pick the manual, because the auto, although it does what an automatic gearbox is supposed to do, and that is, change gears for you it does remove you a little bit from the process and I talked about that in the SRI manual review that I did last year but the actual product itself is a real shame there was a lot of potential with this cruise platform itself I mean it, it's a global product so it was built for a whole bunch of different regions but for some reason that it is actually quite heavy compared to just about any competitor and as a result the base model 1.8 is pretty lackluster when it comes to performance or even just doodling around but again the 1.6 turbo makes up for all those issues replaces the cheap Korean tires with some nice Bridgestone Potenzas which are just big enough to give you the right level of grip to give you some involvement and still be able to just get to that little bit of the envelope without getting too nuts Still has MyLink as it always has. Oh, that's the wrong lane. But the SRI, you do miss out on a few things, like you don't get the full leather. I don't care, the Sportec or whatever it's called, material's fine. The seats hug you fairly well. The accommodation is really good for a compact size car. And you miss out on the rear view camera as well, which is a bit of a bummer, you can't even option it. But you know that's what you get when you start looking at this sort of price range and that is the other key factor for this car and what makes it such a compelling package from my perspective anyway $23,140 for a manual one of these as a retail price that's pretty good try and find that for the sort of performance at that price tag in something I can fit in and say yeah it's a pretty rare combination Personally, I think that makes good value. Other people might disagree because they don't like how the interior plastics on the glove box fitment isn't like locked tight. The plastics are hard, but all that sort of stuff, I really couldn't give a shit about, to be honest. For a car that I'm buying, it wouldn't bother me. The other thing that this this car does that many modern cars don't is it lets a bit of the world in. Now to put that in a less favourable light, road noise isn't intrusive but it's not quiet either. There's a little bit of cabin noise, um, course chip bitumen can be heard, the engine can be heard when it gets all raucous and rough as well. But that really lets the world in, it lets you be a part of it, which isn't really that bad. 
I've been driving as a commuter for the last 10 days and the noise hasn't bugged me, I just... So really the road noise hasn't been a major concern for me. If you don't turn the radio up, you know, maybe it might upset you, but you know, go and test drive one and see what you think of it. Personally, it doesn't bother me whatsoever. And I think that that little bit of extra racket and noise makes it a little bit more sporty because the suspension sort of is a bit firmer as well. So you can sort of feel a little bit of a bump here and you can feel a little bit of the road noise there and you can tell what sort of surface you're driving on. And they're all good things to have in a proper driver's car. Not such a good thing to have in a general commuter's car for people that don't appreciate that sort of feedback. So really you've just got to decide on what your priorities are. Start choking. I prefer to keep my eyes wide open. Ballerina poses get you nowhere. Patience is a virtue when you're. But again, the other benefit it's a sedan. So it has pretty good practical benefits. The back seat isn't too bad a size to fit your family in. Although every time that we went to go on the, away on the weekend, I asked the kids which car they wanted to go in. They wanted to go in the wagon because there's more room and you can fit the dog. You can't fit a dog in a sedan, obviously. If you like that, maybe you can have a look at the um, wagon version. But you can't get an SRI wagon, which is a real bummer because that is something I would probably pretty seriously consider. But at the end of the 10 days, I'm giving this back with a bit of a smile on my face. I got past the point, normally when I review a car, I'll have three or four days to figure out what's going on, make up my mind about the opinion of the car and what sort of results it would get in a review. But I've sort of extended beyond that now where I haven't put my critical eye against it for the last couple of days and found that I just really enjoyed having that little bit of turbo underfoot. Even the transmission where I do prefer a manual, the auto does have its own sort of charms, not enough for me to pick it over a manual, but if people like autos and still want a performance car, this is still a pretty good choice. Value wise, pretty hard to beat. If you can get over the economy and just place a value on the performance, this may come up trumps for you. Or you might like something a bit newer, it's all up to you.